Hey y'all, I'm Blake Hona. I wrote four graphic novels in the Athletes Who Made a Difference series by Lerner in their Graphic Universe imprint. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about my process in writing graphic novels. Now of course the first thing you need is a subject, you know, something to write about. And you know, when I first started writing, everyone always told me, write what you know. But as I've, I've gained experience as a writer, I've, I've changed that advice. I now tell people, write what you enjoy. So of these four graphic novels, one is about Colin Kaepernick. You know, growing up, both he and I, we rooted, rooted for the same team, the Green Bay Packers. Uh, you can see my, my tennis racket back there next to my, my skateboards. I've always been a fan of, of Serena Williams. And Jackie Robinson, he was a second baseman for me. I man the hot corner in, in Little League. And one thing I, I continue to enjoy is trail running and hiking with my dogs. And while I'll never be nearly as fast as Jesse Owens, I did run my first marathon last year, the New York City Marathon. So, you know, these while these four athletes are athletes who changed their sport, they, they, they made a difference in the world. They deserve to have their stories told. For me, I wanted to write about them because I feel a kinship, the little bond with them. We participated in some of the same sports. And so that made it just a joy to, to tell their stories. So why choose to tell their stories in a, a graphic novel format? Well, you know, for me, I, I grew up reading Spider-Man comic books. I, I took art classes all throughout high school. Actually, some of my, my friends have gone on to work for DC and Marvel comic books. And even, even now, I, I keep a, a sketch pad at my desk in case I ever get the urge to draw something. So I've always, always been attracted to a visual way of, of telling stories. And, you know, thinking of these four athletes, they're, they're very active sports. You know, you have Serena Williams slamming the ball over the net, Jackie Robinson hitting home runs. It just felt very natural to tell their stories, considering all the action and the sports that you can capture in a graphic novel format. So it, it, to me, it was just a perfect match and a, and a great way to, to visually capture their achievements. So how did I go about researching the stories in these four graphic novels? Well, you know, of course, you can jump on the line and find things like dates and stats. Um, I still enjoy going to the library and picking up research books. But also, you know, I said I was a fan of Serena Williams. So I've, I've on TV, I've watched several of her matches. I've seen what she can do on the court. Also, in the Colin Kaepernick game, I, I mentioned when he breaks the quarterback rushing record during the playoff game. Well, sadly, that was against the the Packers. So, so I watched that game. So I have some experience, some knowledge of what these athletes can do just through my own experiences. But also nowadays, what's great about technology is it's easy to find video footage of, of these, these athletes in action. So you can find a video of, of, uh, Jackie Robinson hit a home run. And not only does that give you kind of a visual sense of the moment, but you get that audio, that crack of the bat, you hear the, the crowd roaring. So it really helps, helps as a writer capture the scene in your imagination so that you can kind of transfer it to the page. Uh, there's also, you know, there's footage of Jesse Owens winning the 100 meter dash during the 1936 Olympics and afterwards he's up on the, the winner's podium you, you, you hear the speech that he gives and you know so a lot of my research with graphic novels especially when it's a biography like these these four books are is finding his video footage I can of the people because you know through hearing them talk through hearing through seeing their actions you get so much a clear sense of who they are how they talk their mannerisms so when you go to writing their story, it's easier to capture it on the page. And also then you have all these visual references that after I finish my, my draft of my script, then I can pass all that information on to the illustrator. So he or she then finds it easier to also capture the person that we're telling the story about. After my research is done, how do I go about writing a graphic novel? 
Well, you have to remember graphic novels are a visual format. They're, they're like writing a, a movie script. You have three basic elements. There's the dialogue, you know, what people are saying. You have the narration, you know, those those caption boxes that, that provide a little extra information about what's happening in the story. And then also you have scene descriptions, which you need to write. Uh, and what those are is, since I'm an author, I'm not illustrating the book, I need to detail what's happening in each panel and provide scene descriptions so when I hand my draft to an illustrator, they know exactly what to draw. And nowadays what's great is you can rely a lot on technology to help you because for, you know, in graphic novel about Serena Williams, instead of, instead of me describing what she looks like, I can attach a picture of her to my manuscript to help the illustrator be able to draw her. And you know, this works for places and things a lot, so that you can, you can find visual references that, that'll help you in, in creating and writing and illustrating graphic novels. I also, to help me along, I have a few few guidebooks I, I always like to mention. So when I first started uh, learning to write graphic novels, I referenced these books a lot. There's This is called Making Comics by Scott McCloud and Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud. Uh, they're actually comics about creating comics, which is kind of cool. So so anyone who wants to learn more about you know how to write or even illustrate a comic, I always direct them to those two books. Um, anyway, that's a kind of a, a quick brief of how I went about writing, researching these four stories, and I, I hope you enjoy them.